Hey everybody, Robbie here, RV Sales of Oregon. Today we're taking a look at this uh, 2007 Itasca Ellipse. It's a 40-foot diesel pusher. Uh, it's paired with a, a Cummins ISL. It's a 400 horsepower Cummins diesel motor um, and an Allison six-speed transmission. So it's a, it's a quite a pairing there. It's, it's the most common one and for good reason. They, they, uh, they last uh, for just about forever. We take care of them. Um, anyway, let's get looking at it. Um, First off, just beautiful profile on it. You'll see you have a door awning up above your door here. Just kind of keep this space dry. You're able to take a step outside without getting soaking wet on a rainy day. Um, we have the, the, uh, the, 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 oh my goodness, the, the slide out awning covers on all the awnings. So the, the two on this side and on the other side as well. You'll see on the back window here, we have a window awning. It's nice for the rainy days where you still want to get some fresh air in there. You can leave that thing out, open up your windows and not get any moisture coming in. And then up above this slide, if you can see it, we have the nice big power awning that comes all the way out over, hence why you don't have the awnings on these cathedral windows, which is kind of a nice plus because that is the one downside with the door awning or the window awnings, they can kind of cover your view. So not in this case on your big cathedral windows. Um, your basement comes out with your slide, makes it nice and easy to get to. You're not climbing under your slide to get there. And then uh, nice deep, it goes in fairly deep there. So nice use of the space. And then um, it's just more of the same on this. This is all opened up. So nice and easy to get to. Let's see what's back here. Cause I'm actually not quite certain. More storage, um, the, the actual vacuum part of your, your vacuum for the inside, you have a built-in central vac. And then you have the, an outlet here for or inlet outlet to plug in your hoses, to, to vacuum out the basement, things like that on the outside. If you're cleaning things up here, um, and just yeah nice, nice things this is a uh, one thing i didn't mention i just saw it on there the big power awning does have the wind sensor on it so if you're out there if you took a hike or something like that and the wind picked up and uh, you left your awning out i think it's like 26 miles an hour it'll send that awning back in so you don't cause any damage so a nice feature there just our water heater that's a gas and electric water heater there uh good for boondocking or when you're setting a park you're not burning propane so good for both options uh, our battery bay there the ones let me see uh, battery bays. I don't know which is chassis and which is house, house, chassis. And then taking a look at the back, you have the nice rock guard down below. Uh, your tow hitch is set up for 10,000 pounds as it sits right now. You've got the seven pin controller with the brake buddy inside. So it is set up to tow right away. Um, you have the walk on roof or observation deck is what they call it. Um, for being up there to get a better view of stuff. Again, sorry, we're, we're, on, we're on Highway 99 here, so we pick up quite a bit of dirt. Um, we wash them for you, things like that. Don't let the dirt fool you. Hopefully you can see past that stuff, that's easy. Um, big backup camera, big backup camera, backup camera up high. Um, and then you do have side mounted cameras on this too. So you'll flip your blinker on, it'll show you down the side of the coach. Um, and I believe that's an adjustable camera too. So you can look down at your hitch or you can look at what's behind you. Here we have uh, just a furnace exhaust, our two other slides. As I mentioned, we have slide toppers on these and another uh, window awning on, on the far side in your living room there. Um, here's just our power bay. It's 50 amp service, uh, transfer switches right there. Uh, fuses are easy to access there and just um, you have a light in that bay too if you're setting up at night. Um, Docking lights, these are definitely your friend when you're pulling into a spot and it's late at night, you're 40 feet long, it's nice to be able to see what you're backing up into. This should be our wash bay. It sure is. Outdoor shower, valves to winterize, um, to go from your, your tank fill to your city water fill. Um, you have a flush system here to clean out your tanks when you're done using it. Um, water filter there. Um, and then easy access for water pump. You also have this on the inside, of course, water pump, outside lights. And I'm um, actually not sure what the, the auto level, if that's, that might be a really cool feature. I, I, um, it says auto level. That might be exactly what it sounds like. I'm just not sure. I haven't seen one of those on the outside, but um, we'll take a look on the inside. I, I believe it does have auto level. Just haven't seen that in the wash bay before. So I'll have to get back to you on that. If you're curious, just uh, shoot me a message and I'll, I'll get an answer for you. Uh, but nice, easy access to everything. Fresh water inlet, again, outdoor shower. I already said that. Um, just like we had on the on the other side, we have the basement that slides out with it. Oh. I'll just squeeze past here, and more of the same. And then just the ends for your electronics there. 
You'll notice the tires are sitting really low. That's how it's supposed to be. It's an air leveling, or uh, sorry, excuse me, it's an air suspension system. Um, so it makes for a really smooth ride. When you, when you are in drive mode, it'll go up about five inches or so. Those wheels are well out of the wheel well. Let's check this bad boy out on the inside. Um, kind of an entertainment style living room is what I would call it because you get this nice big open space. Opposing slides makes it feel huge in here. Um, and you have the couch opposing where your TV is. They put it down below on this one. Um, could easily put up here if you don't like it down low, but that's just up to you. You, you have the same space down below or up top. Uh, it's really what you prefer, but just it's the right place for it, whether it's up high or down low. You have views of it from all your seating. Um, and just well organized you get little cabinets in here for gaming consoles or whatever it is you might be uh, having in there and it can also be used as like a little workstation if that's what you want to use it as or just storage I mean, you use it however you'd like um so we have the this is electronically reclined chairs these go all the way out totally flat so this will make into a bed we have the nice euro chair here I can't say enough about those things. They are the most comfortable, the best seats in the house most of the time. Um, up front, we do have the two swiveling chairs. Uh, they're flex steel seats, nice and comfortable. Uh, a little bit worn here, but it doesn't change how comfortable it is. Um, Allison six-speed transmission, as I said to you. Uh, two-stage exhaust brake. Uh, so I'll be on three, three cylinders or six cylinders. Um, it'll really slow you down or just slow you down a little bit. Um, it does have a CB radio. If that's something you're interested in. If not, we can pull it out for you. Um, they can be handy when you're in a place with no reception. Um, easy start up for your generator. You can run your speakers off of your TV or off your stereo here. There's a switch for that there. Um, then you have the smart wheel, um, cruise control, uh, your windshield wipers, your brights, everything like that. Um, nice easy gauge setup there to read what's going on with the air pressure um, and your brakes and your, and your suspension and everything there. So uh, battery boost, kind of your normal stuff. You do have an air horn on here. Uh, yeah. So kind of, kind of your, your normal stuff, but always good to know that it's here. Um, good storage up above for whatever you might be doing. This is kind of nice for when you're traveling, just to have that really close storage. You do have some power outlets in there as well for whatever you might need those for all throughout. And then I believe this is just kind of, yeah, maybe put a net in there or something like that and use that for just your driving paperwork, whatever it is you might need. Our dining space here, right now it just has the two chairs. It does have four, uh, it's a floating table. You just put it wherever you'd like. And this, these actually fold down to make for more space if you needed more space in here. You know, it's, it's even for 40 feet, it feels bigger than that. Um, the counter space is nice. Let me see if I can get that to release, yep. So even without that out, you still have this nice workspace, but with it out, you have an awesome kind of U-shaped kitchen here, um, good workspace here, storage in the part that I just slid out from here. And you also have storage from your inside here, so you're not having to walk around just to grab things. Um, nice hidden away outlet here, here, and uh, oh, those are the two. But nice kitchen outlets there. We have the big uh, convection microwave here, as well as a conventional microwave with a three burner stove top. That's a Suburban. And again, just good storage. Should be able to keep a lot of food in here. Um, nice spaces for big pots and pans, things like that. The big stuff, crock pots, whatever you might um, be carrying with you. Sometimes it's hard to find places for that in a lot of these rigs. Not so much the case here. And uh, good use of the space. You got this little guy. Oh, this is a faux door. Pardon me, I thought this was, oh, no, it's exactly what I thought it was. For sponges, things like that, things that you'll keep at the sink, um, just keeping you from wasting any space. Purified water there, double den porcelain sink. Right behind me, we have the Norcold two-way fridge. This is a propane and electric. It's about as big as they make them for the two ways. Um, you have an ice maker in the top left and just about as much storage as you'll see in any of these two-way fridges and my humble opinion the two-way fridges are the only way to go i wouldn't want a residential in mind but that's just me um here we have our our uh, thermostat controls so uh, you do have gas and electric heat on here so you have heat pumps which can be really handy when you're in parks or a place where you have hookups you're not wasting propane because uh, a furnace a water heater those things are your biggest culprits of running your propane down so have an electric heat have an electric element in your water heater will save you immensely on having to go fill your propane and then on the flip side of that if you are boondocking um, you don't have access to hookups you still have your your furnace 
uh, which is going to put out amazing heat, and then your water heater will run off propane. So it's the best of both worlds um, there. Real simple, um, or simple for someone that's familiar with it, but easy access for those even who aren't familiar to your, to your control panels here for your inverter. It's a 2000 watt inverter on here to turn DC into AC when you're not hooked up to power or running your Jenny. You can run your outlets, you can run TVs, you can do that stuff going down the road without having to have either of those two things. Um, readouts for your house and chassis batteries. Um, you do have a solar panel on there as well. It's a small little one. I think it's more of a maintainer. It's 50 watts or so, but really it's just going to keep your batteries healthy for a long time and you won't just be out there dead. Just realized what I said before, this is your inverter. This is just like your power line that'll tell you um, what kind of power you're getting. If it's your generator, 50 amp, 30 amp, or if you're just hooked up to 20. So it's just like a load meter basically for you. This is your Magnum uh, inverter control. So that's a 2000 watt inverter. Um, that does everything that I've mentioned previously. Uh, readouts for propane, fresh water, gray water, black water right there. Uh, you have a block heater that just runs on a switch. Flip that on maybe uh, 30 minutes before you leave on a cold day. It's gonna kick that motor over a little bit easier, but just nice to have easy access to it. And then controls for the water heater for um, LP or for 110, so electric or propane. All right, hey guys, sorry, I had to go change my outfit to finish this video. Um, here, so just showing you the shower, shower size on this Itasca. Um, nice big shower, get my arms pretty high up there, well enough to get to, you know, the armpits. Plenty of room there, and the articulating shower head makes it easy to get yourself clean. Not always a fun thing to shop for, but a very important thing, making sure your commode works. That is a porcelain potty, plenty of room for your knees, room side to side for your elbows, and a little bit more storage up above with a nice little vanity opposing it. Uh, we get the bigger vanity out front, so you have the two sinks, one in here, one here, with good storage in there and down below. Uh, one thing I always like to point out, a lot of rigs don't have vented heat into the bathroom for whatever reason. This one does, has it at the vanity at your feet and has another vent inside the bathroom. So when you're waking up in the middle of the night, the whole coach is warm and the bathroom's freezing. That's happened to me before, but not on this one. It has the vent there. Um, good more storage in the bathroom here and moving on to the bedroom. Super cool layout. Um, fairly simple, but super well done. Um, we have room for a, a television up here if you wanted one, but right now it's just cabinet space. Um, nice five, uh, four big cabinets here and kind of a nice little changing space maybe for putting your shoes on, take a seat and when well, you're not quite limber enough in the morning to get to your feet, it makes it easier. Um, good storage down in there for whatever you want it to be. Here we have our washer dryer. That is a Splendid 2000, it's a two-in-one washer dryer. And then in the rear, you'll see Western Red Cedar in the closet. That's always a good sign. It means they built them well. But yeah, it's all Western Red Cedar in there. It'll keep the bugs out. Also just a very good sized um, closet there. So I'll leave the rest to imagination. Um, we do have the two slides in the back opposing each other, so you get nice big room here. And uh, I have to point out, even standing on this, this step here, I'm about 6'2", and I can still stand up, so um, not really a concern. A lot of times you're bumping your head on the roof when you're on the, the engine cover there. On the bed, we do have a queen-size bed here with the windows on both sides. Super nice, get a cross breeze going through there. Um, you have outlets on both sides, too, for anything you might need to power while you're in bed. Um, but again, it's the 2007 Itasca Ellipse. It is a 40 footer. Again, a Cummins 400 in the rear and Allison six speed. Um, paired to that uh, 2000 watt inverter, you have heat pumps, you have, you have your regular furnace, you have gas electric water heater, you have this entertainment style system, two way fridge, uh, central vacuum with the sweep in. Let me show you that. I almost forgot about that. These are my favorite. Um, because you have the regular hookups for just a hose, but having these sweep-ins is just so nice. It makes your job so you just sweep into it, click that thing, sucks it up, and it's gone. So I always like pointing those out. Those are super friendly, for user friendly. And uh, yeah, here she is. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, I kind of went quick on that. There's a lot of features it has with the stereo and stuff like that, and, and you name it, it's got it on here. So. Uh, thank you guys for checking out this video. Again, I'm Robbie at RV Sales of Oregon. Uh, my number, email should pop up on the screen sometime soon. And just reach out to me with any questions on anything I might have missed. But thank you guys for checking out the video. Have a great day.